Hi, welcome to the launch event of Seeing Eye tonight. We're at Blank in London, UK. Um, let me take you on a little tour and I'll introduce you to the people behind this amazing project. Hi. Hello. This is Nimrod Vardy. Uh, he's the curator and director of Arbat Gallery. Um, so can you tell me a bit more about the project? Sure. Um, Seeing Eye is a project, it's an experiment and artistic project that we started about a year ago looking at the implication of technology and our, our behavior and the way you experience the world. Um, but the project, Mark, will live in the gallery space, living someone else's life through virtual reality. Um, he's going to be passive to all of his experiences, sights and sounds, and we'll, we'll look at the way um, his behavior changes throughout 28 days. Yeah, Brilliant. So what's going on tonight? Tonight, uh, we're launching the crowdfunding campaign, um, hoping to raise quite a lot of money for that, um, inviting people to hear more about the project and uh, experiencing a bit of what's going to happen. Cool, that sounds good. Yeah. And now let's find Mark. Thanks. Mark should be around here somewhere, getting ready. It's just over there. Hey, Mark. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Good. This is Mark Farad. Uh, he's the artist behind Seeing Guy. So tell us, how did you come up with this brilliant idea? Um, well, really, it comes from my interest in our lack of autonomy and kind of who we are as people and the fact that we're given within society and, you know, we're pushed into this from when we're born. And if you look at the world, it's designed for sight and sounds, from, you know, the science to the roads that we walk on to the square gardens, the trees that are planted in specific places, to the natural parks that we believe to be nature. You know, they don't exist in an unmade, mm -hmm. un artificially rich world. So it really comes from, in a world that's predominantly those two senses, is it possible to lose yourself in total immersion if given virtual reality glasses? So it came from discussions with Nimrod and my own interests, and it kind of merged together to see if it's possible to lose a sense of myself and if who I am is my own individual identity or if it's a cultural identity that's kind of brought on by society. Brilliant. That sounds really, really good. Good luck tonight. <laughs> Thank good you luck very much. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy it. Cool. So uh, I hope this caught your eye and you'll stick around. And uh, if you want to see some more, get involved by making a donation below. Thanks. Bye.